Hello and welcome to my top 12 best ships currently in Star Citizen. In this video, we will take a look at the best ships that are currently available for purchase in the game. If you are considering buying the game, you should use my referral code, which will give you a slight boost with the in-game money. It's not much, but it's something. Now let's roll the intro and uh, let's take a look at the best ships that Star Citizen has to offer right now. Hello, my name is Grumpy. Now let's start off with the best starter ship, the Anvil C8X Pisces Expedition. It has a single size 1 shield, it has 4 size 1 weapons and it's pretty small so it can take you out of some pretty sticky situations as it is a decent and not really the best but a decent dogfighter so you could potentially use it in a PvP situation but it's not really designed for that. Other than that it has 3 seats, the pilot seat and 2 seats for passengers and it has 4 S use of cargo. It is a really neat starter ship and it has a lot of functionality so I believe that everybody should own one, at least one. But let's talk about the best light fighter. Even though my personal preference would be the Anvil Arrow, the Aegis Gladius could be a better choice for you guys that are watching this video. The Gladius has 2 size 1 shields, 3 size 3 weapons and 2 size 3 and 4 size 2 missiles. The reason why it could be better than the Arrow is purely because it has a second size 1 shield. The Arrow has 1 and the Gladius has 2 size 1 shields. Therefore, it will survive more shots if the enemy lands them on you. So you will be protected against heavier targets such as heavy fighters, which would probably be your main targets except of course the medium fighters and the light fighters. The Gladius is not really designed to fight uh, capital ships or sub-capital ships such as Corvettes, so don't try attacking a player manned Hammerhead. But on the topic of medium fighters, the Drake Buccaneer is the best medium fighter there is. And yes, I know, Star Citizen classifies it as a light fighter even though it's not really a light fighter because it doesn't turn as one and it doesn't have the same armament as light fighters. So therefore, it is a medium fighter. Even though it's smaller than the Gladius? Ah, never mind. The Drake Buccaneer has 2 size 1 shields, it has 2 size 1 weapons, 2 size 3 weapons and 2 size 2 weapons or you can switch them out and have a single size 4 weapon. But I suggest you keep the 2 size 2 weapons because yeah, you're gonna have more DPS. Also it has 4 size 2 missiles and uh, yeah, like it's the fastest medium fighter. It's one of the fastest fighters in the game currently. And because it has so many guns and being so small and so fast and nimble, yeah, it deserves the rank of the best medium fighter. Staying on the topic of fighters, the best heavy fighter will be the Aegis Vanguard Sentinel. And yes, you heard me right, it's not the Scorpius, it's not the Hurricane because you don't really need a gunner and with those ships, the gunner deals the most damage. So the Sentinel has 2 size 2 shields, 4 size 2 weapons and 1 size 5 mount for a size 5 weapon but I would rather go with a size 4. Additionally, it has a size 4 EMP, 8 size 2 missiles and 8 size size 3 missiles. It is a behemoth, it is a monster and with this thing I used to dominate over Jumptown as a single player for a couple of days and you can watch my video on that, it's gonna be linked in the top right corner of this video. Carrying on to the best light transport ship which will be the Mercury Star Runner. With its cargo capacity of 114 SEUs and its 2 size 2 shields, 2 size 3 weapons and 2 turrets with 2 size 3 weapons each, it is basically the best light transport available in the game right now. Of course, it should be a data runner, but it's just not happening. Also, it has chess. It has chess and it's janky, but it's working. At least in terms of Star Citizen, it is working-ish, I guess. But yeah, it is the best light transport currently in the game and it can carry a light vehicle and on top of all of that, it's really fast, so you will hold your cargo in a matter of a couple of minutes so yeah it is the best light transport but on the topic of the best heavy transport 
that would be the Crusader C2 Star Lifter. With the cargo bay in which you can store up to three ballistas or three large land vehicles or 696 SUs of cargo, it is the largest, the baddest and the heaviest transport vehicle that we currently have in the game. It also has two size 3 shields, two size 5 pilot controlled weapons and two turrets with two size 4 weapons each. And even though I must say that I like the Caterpillar more, this thing is just faster and better. And it also has this, whatever this is, but it has it and it's shiny and it's fun. So if you want to try trading or if you just want to haul your mine containium, this is the ship for you because nothing matches this ship and it's really really fast in atmosphere. So yeah, this is the best transport ship that we have in the game until the Banu Merchantman arrives, and then we'll see, I guess. But if you want to fill it up with Quantanium, you will need an Argo Mole, which is going to be the best mining ship that is available in the game right now. It has three mining turrets for your friends and you, and also it has two size 2 shields and two size 2 weapons, which are not that good and you're probably going to die if somebody attacks you. But if everything goes without an issue, you have 96 SUs of cargo where you can store all of your mineables like Quantanium or whatever. So with this ship, you might earn half a million AUEC per run. It is pricey, it is 5.2 million AUEC, you can see the price on the screen right now. Other than that, it is the best mining ship that we have in the game right now, and it is really good looking, like it looks like a flying brick, come on. You want to have a flying brick, right? Please CAG, just give us an Argo gunship, pretty please. Now let's talk about the best small multi-crew multi-purpose ship, and that's gonna be the Drake Cutlass Black. It has a single size 2 shield, but it has 4 size 3 weapons. Also it has a turret, which also has 2 size 3 weapons. Additionally it has 8 size 3 missiles and 8 size 2 missiles, and a cargo capacity of 46 SCUs. And once we get the ship tractor beams, it will have a tractor beam in the back and you will be able to basically pirate other ships and just uh, take their cargo and store it inside your cuddy. It is great as a dropship so you can do ground operations and also it can carry a small vehicle such as Great Cat Rock or the Drake Mule. So it is the jack of all trades and it is a really good multi-purpose ship. Now staying with the same theme of multi-purpose ships, the best medium multi-purpose ship would be the Constellation Aquila. That is of course until we get the Corsair, cause this, this looks, uh, it looks ugly. But ugliness aside, it does have a single size 3 shield. It also has 4 pilot controlled weapons, 2 of which will be size 4, and they will be gimbaled at all times, and 2 of which would be size 5s. And on top of that, it has a metric shit ton of missiles. And if that's not enough, you have a snub fighter, which is basically the best fighter in the game, but since it doesn't have a quantum drive, that's why it is not on this list. But it is a great addition to this ship. On top of that, you have 96 SUs of cargo, and a cargo bay where you can store an Ursa rover or a Grey Kit rock. And yeah, this ship is just awesome even though it's really really ugly. Now let's talk about the best large multi-crew multi-purpose ship and that one will be the Anvil Carrack, of course. It has two size 3 shields, it has four turrets with two size 4 guns each, it has a cargo capacity of 456 SCUs, it has an extra extra small hangar and it has a rover bay where you can store a nurse rover and a great kit rock. On top of that, once the developers of this game get their heads out of their asses, this ship will be modular, so you will have, let's say, a refinery inside of it, or a science module. On top of that, it has drones, but the drones don't work, and it has a bunch of stuff that doesn't work right now in the current state of the game, but once the game gets finished, yeah, this ship is gonna be amazing. It is already amazing, as it is already the best multi-crew ship that we have in the game right now. 
If you want to do ERTs or other bounties with your friends, this is the ship for you. It also has a medical bay where you can spawn in. That's amazing because you will get shot in the verse and spawning on stations is just a pain in the ass. If you want to do some hauling, this is the ship for you. If you want to do some trading, this is the ship for you. If you want to do exploration, repairing or drone gameplay, well, you will have to wait for a while. Yeah. But you know what you don't need to wait for? That is the best bomber in the game. The Aegis Retaliator has two size 2 shields, three turrets that have two size 3 weapons on them and two turrets that have two size 2 weapons on them. But the main payload that it carries is six size 9 torpedoes and it has a ton of HP. It's basically indestructible. With the price of just over 4 million AUAC, it is the best bomber that the game has to offer right now. And yes, it is very ugly, and ugliness aside, you should own this ship. Well, in the game, not with real money, of course. Now, speaking of ships that you shouldn't buy for real money, and that are ugly, but they are intended to be ugly, and therefore they are beautiful, the Aegis Reclaimer is the most beautifully ugly ship in the game right now. And it is a piece of ship. And why I say that is because it doesn't have a game loop for it. It was released almost half a decade ago, yet we still don't have salvage and that's the game loop that this ship is supposed to be the best at. Yes, it does have some cargo capacity, but the main thing about this ship is that it's fucking beautiful. When you get inside of it, it just gives you like alien vibes and vibes of all the movies and all the sci-fi series that we watched for decades now. And that's a pretty good accomplishment, so good job CAG on making this thing. Now please, please give it a game loop so we can actually use it. Other than that, it has three size 3 shields for I don't know what purpose. It has six turrets that have two size 3 guns on them and then on top of that it has a turret that has two size 5 guns on them so yeah this thing is a behemoth but unfortunately it is not really usable in the game so thank you for watching guys and thank you to all my patrons that are supporting the channel if you want to support the channel there's gonna be a link down in the description of the video and you can click on it and you can support me right there in the link down below so yeah I don't know, tell me what you think in the comments guys, and uh, thank you for watching again, and of course, as always, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space, and uh, goodbye. Mwah. And yeah, I forgot, and I'm lazy to put it somewhere in the video. So the last one is the Drake Herald, because, yeah, uh, it's fast. And it's going to take you off Crusader really fast. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.